Craig's all frog here. Let's play Democracy 3, where we are in this situation at the end of their most recent quarterly report. We're loyal. We're still 26% in the polls. Human Rights Society has been doing some bad things. The budget is still a triple B rating, which is not great. But the economy is doing well and is having a positive effect on our GDP. So that's good. There is our current uh, level of stuffs. It'd be better if this were higher than this, but, you know, what can you expect? Other than deficit spending. Okay, so we need to... We have 23. Why do we only have 23? Oh my god, because we're only getting 21 capital per turn? Oh my god, why have you gone so far down? Is that because your loyalty is so low? I bet. How can we get you more loyal? I don't know. We need loyal people with... The problem is the loyal people have no experience. Get these fours into place. Like Law and Order. She's not even that effective. Not effective, she's not loyal. You're out. Law and Order, you're in. Cynthia, let's do this. I get even less capital a turn now. Because everybody else is pissed off because I fired her. Ah. Alright, whatever. Figure it out. There's a lot of stuff that's really uh, getting those liberals down. Oh, it take a long time for that. That's not. That's not worth it. Uh, boy. I can't change that. I can't change that. I could change this. If I lowered the drinking age. I don't think crime would go up, that's not good. I don't know if I want the alcohol consumption to go that high. I wish I could see... I mean, this is just very little, but now, okay, so if alcohol consumption goes up, what goes up because of that? You know what I mean? And I gotta go, I gotta check alcohol consumption, which is this. What is this effect? It raises crime, right? So we don't want that to go up. Ugh. What are our big problems right now? Where's that chart? Is it here? Yeah. Health is a huge problem. We need to fix health. Health has gone down. So what can we do to tackle pollution? Huh? Let's look at that. What can we do to tackle pollution? There's pollution. What affects pollution? The environment. Alright. What can we do to protect the environment? We can lower... Car usage or air travel. Or we can put in more stringent pollution things. to have a positive effect on the environment. Costs, though. Obviously. Hmm. Wow, everyone doesn't like it when we do this. And it increases poverty by increasing the, this tax. That's crazy. We can't even raise it anyway. But that's, uh, that's a little strange, isn't it? What if we wanted a new policy? That's not what I wanted to click. What if we wanted a new policy?
Hmm. That could give us quite a lot of money. If we implement an automation tax. I don't know if we want to do that or not. People like luxury good tax. Fourteen or seventeen? I wonder what the difference is for that. Oh, he implemented it. It says it's free and yet it's red. What does that mean then? Wealthy won't like us as much. Nah, that's way too low. Like 50%. Alright, so where did that go? What symbol is that? I didn't pay attention. It's this one. So we don't know yet what it does, but it's going to affect all these people. And hopefully raise more money. We'll find out. Uh, I only have three capital left. Let's just move on to the next turn. Unemployment is now a problem. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emission of greenhouse gases in industrialized countries. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order not to put too much strain on the economy. Still, ratifying the protocol can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim it's the only way to save the environment. Do we ratify the protocol? I wish I could pull that aside to see what's underneath it. Reduce greenhouse gas emissions is a necessary step to make sure our children will be born on a habitable planet. Small hit to the economy is well worth this goal. Or with our economy at stake, we cannot ratify a proposal that prevents growth, productivity, and wealth. Other means of produce, protecting the environment have to suffice for now. I'm going to embrace it. Supportive? Oh my god. I'm going to have to reshuffle the whole damn cabinet. I really don't want to have to do that. But they're garbage. I don't even know why. Like, what what, what changes this? You know, for all these tooltips, it would be really great to have one for this. What causes this capital? It's got to be some sort of uh, effect of the loyalty. It must be. Self-employed, the wealthy say no, the socialists like me more. Well, there's more socialists than any other groups. So that's good. Popularity rating is 26.2%. That's not good. Slowly losing the retired people. The Patriots, my own party, is going crazy. Oh, it tells you what you did in each of these. That's something. People don't like the alcohol law uh, at all. But I don't know what doing that would do. I think that's bad overall. Obviously, people don't like any of this stuff. What's this? Both systems taught? No. Ugh, we can't do it. Alright. I'm missing something huge about this game, obviously, because we're losing a lot of stuff. This is a lot of learning, clearly. Prisoner tagging has zero popularity. So what if we just get rid of it? It does affect crime and violent crime, though. But people don't like it at all.
Even at none, it still costs. Let's try that, see what happens. See if people like it. Hmm. Automated stock marketing. What if we turn off the limits of automated stock trading? Basically, we need to raise the GDP. Get a better state health service. Get better schools. We should focus on schooling. We're all over the place now, I know this. It's technology colleges. Where's public schooling? Can't do anything to it. Obviously, we must erase it at some point. So, it can't affect that. We can't affect that. I have a surplus right now, so I could spend some more money. something that's going to affect unemployment more. That's going to have a bigger negative impact on crime if we have some re-education, huh? We can afford it. Most people like it. It'll help the unemployment slightly. It'll help crime. Yeah, let's do that. Handgun laws don't affect crime. What? Well, that's insanity. Okay. Hmm. We can increase some rail subsidies. That's all our capital. We move on. Unemployment is still bad. Celebrity endorsement. We live in a celebrity obsessed age. I don't really criticize this phenomenon, but not today. A top pop star has gone on the record as saying you're doing a superb job. It's going to reflect nicely in your improving ratings. You have by nine basis points. It's not exactly huge. 29% though, we're getting up there. Liberals and environments like us more. The capitalists are in the red. I'm fine. I'm okay with that. Trump 
trade unionists care about labor laws, obviously. Can't do anything with it because we don't have enough capital. We ran a surplus again, so I have a little bit of money to spend. I mean, granted, we we're three, three trillion dollars in debt, but eh, what's that have to do with the price of butter, really? Uh, the environment is really helping pollution right now. This is good. Pollution controls and the hybrid cars initiative are really helping this out. Let's check out these controls. Yeah, we're working. We're working to get to there. That's where we're going to get eventually. So that's good. I'm happy with that. How about these initiatives? Where's the hybrid car initiatives? Where'd they go? There they are. We can afford a little bit more. Let's raise these up. People like it. You can see the environment better. I'm going to apply that change. My cabinets really don't like me. I don't understand why. I don't know if it's because I don't use them. I, I wish I knew that mechanic. What's causing this loyalty thing to happen? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, w I wish I knew. That's not what I meant to do. Is it because, like, in the case of this dude, right? Trade unionists don't like me? Is that why? If you look at the labor laws, we're already moving them around. That's not even his area of concern. He's my tax man. Do you want me to raise the taxes? Is that why? Could be. Piss people off. The capitalists already don't like me. Cancel that. Let's raise the petrol tax. I can't raise special tax. Okay, fine. Alright, that's still going. Can't raise the car tax. Can't raise the corporation tax. Can't raise the inheritance tax. I already looked at that. Can't raise the income tax. Can't raise the cowbell tax. Sales tax. Can't raise the property taxes. You're useless to me, buddy. Any policies I want to introduce? <sighs> hmm. Four hundred eighty-three million dollars is not a lot. affect the uh, stuff. We don't have a Labor Day bank holiday. We should do that. We're going to implement the bank holiday. I don't understand medium. I'm happy with medium. So we now have a bank holiday as well. Let's uh, save our capital for the next one. A new situation has developed. High productivity. That sounds good. There's an urgent policy question. The increasing capability of large corporations to use customer databases and big data to analyze consumer behavior has led to concerns about privacy. The companies insist that data... <clears throat> Excuse me, that such data is anonymous in many cases and is being used purely to provide a better service, whereas campaigners suggest big faceless corporations are creating big brother style databases of consumers without their consent. We can ban this sort of behavior, it's nothing short of creepy, as well as posing a potential risk of identity theft for consumers. Companies have managed well enough all these years without tracking and storing information on every single decision a customer makes and can easily get by without it. 
People have the right to buy things without effectively being followed by digital spies wherever they go. Or, opponents of internet tracking make it sound far more sinister than it is. All we are talking about is allowing companies to record accurate information on consumer preferences so they can make better products and target their advertising effectively, something that is harmless and also essential to a modern economy. There's no real cry for the government to intervene here. I'm going to pick that one. We're supportive. We need better. Well, at least we're at 30%. Talk to me about this. This is good. So it started here. It won't fall unless we fall below here. So we're going to have high productivity. It's a very good thing. I like this. All right, so we gained with the capitalists this time. We lost with the liberals, although it doesn't tell us that, but we did. Because so they were yellow, and now they're red. Now look, we have two things in green. I'm telling you, the environment is working on pollution right now. It's trying real hard. There's not a lot much more. There's not much more we could do to improve this, other than to try to bring down car usage. Which the only real way to do that is with the petrol tax, and I can't increase that. Or if I increased bus usage. By subsidizing school buses, for instance. It's already pretty far up there, though. We still have a surplus, so we could raise services. Wow, we have to get a busy. That's way too far down. That's, that's unattainable. Asthma is falling. That's good. Internet crime is kind of holding steady. Alcoholism is way too high to deal with. Vigilante mobs, we could try and bring that down by getting a better police force and trying to decrease the racial tension. So let's look at this racial tension issue. Uh, I don't remember where that is. It's a blue stat. Is that it? Yes. Education builds into that. Citizen tests are currently bringing that down. So what if we increased this? That'll have a more negative effect. Let's go straight up here, man. Gets us done. All right, well, we're out of time for this one, so I guess we're gonna finish up this year and then uh, go. We're gonna use this last 17 capital for. Maybe we need to shake up the whole place. I mean, it just the capital dro drops and drops and drops. You, sir, are freaking useless. If I fire him, everybody else is gonna be less good. I think we need to reshuffle the whole thing. I need to get loyal people up in here, you know what I mean? Get some more capital being spent. Oh, this is tough to figure out, man. Like, I get that the more loyal they are, the more capital you get, but what, what makes them loyal? I'll have to look that up in between gameplays. All right, what do I want to spend money on? That doesn't have any other effects. We could increase this program. People don't like it, but they don't like a period. I need something that's going to have a huge impact on crime. Yeah, building education would be good. Could we spend more money on schools? No. So close. Ugh. What if we just say, you know what? I'm going to save it up for a big turn. Next turn. 
going to be a huge turn. All right, so that is where we will end it for today. Uh, as always, with a new series, feel free to give me advice, because especially with this game, I don't really know what's going on yet. We're trying to delve into it, figure it out together. So uh, your positive encouragement is greatly appreciated. We will figure out how to make things work together, but I think we're starting to make some sort of uh, inroads to this. It's a little slapdash. I don't really have a policy set up. I don't have a, a goal. I probably should, but I'm trying to do a little bit of everything, which is probably why it's not very successful yet, although we have improved from 20 to 30 percent, so that's a plus. But we have a long way to go. For now, we're out of time. Hope you guys enjoyed this, but if you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. Until next time, cheers.